Hey everyone, welcome to Judging for the Win. I'm Dave, and this is my daily ruling. Today's question comes to us from a viewer. Thanks to Matthew for this one. Amy uses an Urza's bobble against her opponent, Nick. Does Nick know which card out of his hand that Amy was able to look at? Okay, so for today, I'm going to go ahead and break with my traditional practice a little bit and just lead off with the correct answer, which is that yes, Nick does get to know which card Amy saw from his hand. Now, if you want to peace out now, I understand. Just make sure you leave a like and a comment so the algorithm doesn't punish me too hard for putting the good information right at the beginning like this. For everybody who's left, we're going to examine exactly why this is the case by taking a look at the comprehensive... Oh. Oh dear. So, the reason that nothing came up just now is because, as far as I'm aware, there actually is not a rule anywhere in the comprehensive rules that backs up this ruling. That's not to say that this isn't an official ruling, though. This question has been asked and discussed on the Magic Judge forums, and the officially authorized Wizards of the Coast net representatives have uniformly given the answer I just said as the correct one. This ruling is just as legally binding as any of the other ones you might find on my channel. It's just that, to continue with the legal analogy, it's more based on case law than statutory law. This is kind of rare for Magic as a whole, which in general does a very good job of making sure that its comprehensive rules are, well, comprehensive, certainly much better than some other card games that I can mention. It is true that one of the net reps in their post mentioned a specific rule as a philosophical background for why this is the case, but it doesn't exactly match with exactly what's happening here because the card you reveal with the Urza's Bobble is not actually changing zones, so it still leaves me a little unsatisfied. I do have an explanation though for why I think this ruling is the way that it is. Let's recall that this card was originally printed back in Ice Age, a time way before Magic's rules were as formalized as they are now. That being the case, the correct ruling for this card was not really expected to exist by a lot of players, and so the way you resolve this ability kind of naturally evolved over time. Generation upon generation of judges just kept on saying that the correct way to resolve it is the way people had always been resolving it. And while it certainly is possible to devise a situation where Amy could look at a card at random from Nick's hand without Nick knowing what it is, such a protocol would be a lot harder to put into practice and certainly a lot less natural than Nick simply putting his cards face down on the table, shuffling them around, and then Amy flipping one of them face up to look at it. That's the way that people have been resolving this ability for decades, and that continues to be the official way to resolve this ability even today. But that's all I have for you today. How did you do? Join me again next time for another daily ruling. But until then, I hope you have a great day.